Alright guys, welcome back to another video on the Games channel. How are you guys doing? And in this video, I'm going to show you a £1,000 PC park picker list that you can get right now because, as you know, while in quarantine and basically nothing is in stock and all the prices have completely shot up. So I'm actually going to make one that you could probably get right now actually. So stuff that are in stock, hopefully, and around where you live so you can get from Amazon. So yeah, right, let's just get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to choose the CPU and oh it's right here okay so i'm going to pick the amd ryzen 5 3600 this is the cpu that's in my build and if you look at the 600 pound build i else i think i also picked this but right now it's actually at 209 well 210 pounds and that's just because these are really hard to find and they're just not in stock so and it says in amazon but let me check right now yeah it's out of stock hopefully it'll come in stock soon but right, let's see what else they got that's out of stock oh that's actually in stock Alright guys, quick change of plan, uh, we're actually going to pick this Indie Ryzen 7 3700X. I'm assuming it's just like this, but with more, uh, two more cores and four more threads. You can also boost a bit higher and actually have the same TDP. Not sure about that though, because it probably comes with the Wraith Spire Cooler, but this is actually in stock, so let's get it. Also, we uh, don't need a CPU cooler because this CPU already comes with one, it already comes with the, the Rich Spire. So let's move on to the motherboard. Okay, so what I'm going to pick is Micro ATX. I mean, you can pick ATX as well, uh, it depends which one you want, but I'm going to pick Micro ATX because it just fits in a lot more builds. And uh, go for a price point. We don't want to go over like £200 or two. So let's set that as the limit. Sort by price. And move down. Oh, probably should have also picked B550 because the next generation AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs are going to support B550 motherboards out of the box hopefully. I mean they will need a BIOS update but you shouldn't have too many problems just popping one in. So we're going to pick that and we don't want the, the worst one possible like the most cheapest with the least functionality and such possible like this only has two dim slots and not much going on in there. So I picked this for my last build so I mean I'm, this is a good one but I might pick this one instead, the AORUS B550M Elite. Is this in stock? Please be in stock. Alright, this is out of stock, damn it. Oh, okay, well, hopefully this does get back in stock, because it actually seems like a really good one. So we're going to have to go back. Oh, and this is in stock though. Okay, I guess we're going to have to pick this in. Alright, let's add that to the basket. And now memory. Okay, so I'm going to go with 16 gigabytes for this in a 2x8 gig configuration. And I don't think I want to go lower than 3000 speed or 3000 megahertz because Ryzen heavily favors memory frequency. So we really want to get those high speeds. Uh, so by price. Okay, uh, we got this Patriot Viper for about 53 pounds, which is all right. It's pretty good. I mean, it's the cheapest one here, but it's also 3000 speed. I mean, 3000 speed is fine, it's what I've got in my system, but I would recommend 3200 or 3600 speed, so we're going to move down, and here, yeah, alright, Corsair Vengeance, LPX 16 gigabytes, 3600 speed, seems pretty good, but the cache latency is 18, so, as well as uh, memory frequency being a big part in performance, so it's cache latency, uh, I might do a video on RAM overclocking soon, so make sure you're subscribed for that, but, you can actually tune down the cache latencies a bit. You probably get it down to 16. So I'm just gonna pick this. Okay, next up we have storage. So I think I'm going to go with a 500 gigabyte SSD. So you can store a lot of games and frequently used applications on this to get that fast speeds. So I'm just gonna write down five, okay. Okay, 500 gigabytes. And I think we should go M.2 actually. Uh, say to no, I think we just go M.2. Uh, sold by price. And what we have, we got this Kingston A2000, which is seems pretty good. It's got high rate. You want to look at the ratings as well, because they could actually tell a lot about how durable it is and if it's quite reliable. So you can see, it's got five stars across the board. It's on average, it's five stars, and out of 24 people, so this seems pretty good. See if there are any other options here. We do have this crucial P2 in here as well. Uh, same form factor and everything, but this is a bit cheaper and it seems pretty good. 
So I'm gonna get this. But this isn't gonna be enough to store all of our games and everything. So we're gonna choose a hard drive and I think this might be it actually. <laughs> so a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive seems all right. Okay, next we wanna move on to our GPU, our graphics card. So we wanna go with something that's quite high powered but also something that's quite good for value. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down. I get to the bottom of the page. Okay, here. So I mean, we could get a RTX 3060 in here, 3060 Ti, but as you know, that are out of stock, obviously, because everybody just wants to get their hands on these. These are amazing value, and they're really good. But if you want to get this now, I think you should go with an RTX 2060, maybe a 2060 Super as well. But let's see. So by price, and this. EVGA KO Ultra Gaming and Gia is just a normal RTX 2060 and this is really good it's got not high boost clocks higher than other ones actually it's got a dual fan design it seems to have uh, can it show me oh okay so that's a display port HDMI and DVI if your monitor doesn't support HDMI or display port so that's pretty good and high rating so it's got four out of five on average but for 300 pounds not bad so we'll add this to the cart right how much we got left so we got around about 150 pounds left to spend on a case and power supply this is just the pc okay so if you want to add a monitor or keyboard and mouse and everything you probably want to like downscale some of this or like choose a one terabyte hard drive or downscale this if the ryzen 5 600 is in stock to save that extra bit of cash you could say Alright, so we're going to choose a case, and we're going to choose Micro ATX. Again, if you are using an ATX, um, ATX motherboard, then you should probably pick that, one of these two. But we're not, so we're going to sort by price. And we don't want to suffocate our systems, for example, like this one. It's like it's, It looks really cool, like there's glass on either side, so it looks really nice. But there's basically no ventilation here so you're going to suffocate your components it's got these wires whoa okay i mean it does have two fans but there's no way you're getting any air in only from the back i'd say on the top so that's i don't i won't recommend that keep going down all right uh this seems all right but i mean come on i mean if, if you're into that the uh, red or green aesthetic then go for it but nah we want this for everyone so I'll keep scrolling by there doesn't seem to be many options for quite good kit. I mean, this seems pretty good, but I mean, again, not really much ventilation at the front. I'm not sure if that's mesh. No, it's just only that bottom bit, it seems like. So we're going to have to keep searching. Oh, okay. This Techware Forge M, actually, I was going to search this up. Now, it doesn't look like much. It only looks like it's got one fan. Don't be fooled. This, this actually comes with four fans, and I know this because, well, it shows it. And also, this is the case that my brother actually has for his PC build. I chose this case for him. It's got full mesh front panel and it's got four 120mm fans. It is all black, so you're missing out on a bit of that aesthetic, but you can just get like RGB fans or white fans actually that look really nice. It's got tempered glass on the side, pass by shroud and everything. Also, it is on a hinge, so you can just, and also you can just like open it whenever you want, really. There's a clearer view of those fans. And this is actually really good. It's got a hard drive mount if you need it, which we do for that two terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive. It's got power button, LED, oh, that's LED actually. Reset, uh, USB 3.0, pretty sure. And two USB 2s, mic headphone, everything. So I'm actually gonna pick this because this is really good. So there we go, add to cart. So after the case, we have about 100 pounds to spend on a power supply. I'm not going to do that because, I mean, well, you can got nothing against that but for this build it'd be kind of overkill so i think we should go 80 plus for this stuff uh it doesn't matter because all of them already come in as uh atx and uh wattage i think we don't want to go lower than 600 just to make sure that we don't underpower our components and so by price all right so searching here oh we do have this evga uh power supply here but it does have ketchup and mustard cables which i mean okay you don't really see all of it thanks to our sleeping but it's a plus i think we'll just keep looking or actually we could choose this corsair vs 650 watt power supply so you get this extra 50 watts for two pence so i mean it's kind of a no-brainer to go with this 
and that brings our total to 950 pounds so I mean that's actually what can we upgrade for 50 pounds I guess I guess for 50 pounds you could uh, upgrade your storage or your graphics card or CPU or anything here to be honest but this is for you guys it's, uh, it's not really for me I mean for me I would probably get RGB fans just to get that to get that extra bit of airflow and also aesthetic because we need that in this build but yeah it's up to you guys how you want to spend that 50 pounds you can save it you can spend it on whatever you want but yeah i guess that's it for the 1000 pound part list uh, if you like this video make sure you like it and if you really like what we do around here then subscribe we actually have a few more videos like this come and go because it's quite easy to make and um yeah that's pretty much it all right bye